From 1965 to 1995, World Monuments Fund preserved humanity's most significant imperiled sites. Some famous, some lesser known. It tackled just a few major projects at a time. In 1995, the pace quickened. World Monuments Fund developed a radical new plan to save the world's heritage more effectively. Under the leadership of American Express CEO Harvey Golub, $5 million in lead funding was given to the fund. The World Monuments Watch List of 100 Most Endangered Sites program was formed. An independent panel of experts selects this list every other year from nominations from around the world. Selection is based on significance, urgency of the threat, and potential success of the solution. When our philanthropic people uh, brought to me the idea of having some involvement in the World Monuments Fund, there was an immediate click in my mind. It's hard to say that a particular company should be involved in this work, but it is easy to say that the world should be involved in it. And if one concludes that, and then also concludes that American Express has a direct business interest in preserving world monuments, then it's easy to make the connection. American Express has been concerned about important monuments around the world for many years, assisting in their restoration. The work with the fund through the watch was a way of creating a much larger impact than simply a one-off transaction and creating interest on the part of others in extending this work. Petra Jordan, the Rose Red City, a site that immediately grabs visitors' imaginations with its vast skyline carved into the rock face. Petra was fabulous. Uh, just walking down the defile in the rocks and seeing what had been done by the natives in that area 2,000 years ago was fascinating. I was awed by the location, by the spectacle, by the carving, by the work. It was an incredible experience. Unfortunately, flood damage and unregulated tourism have eroded this beautiful site. Petra was one of the early sites to benefit from an American Express World Monuments Watch Grant. The Jordanian government has since initiated new policies to control the flow of tourism and help preserve its delicate beauty. Beijing, China. The Temple of Agriculture, built in 1420, was the setting for rituals designed to ensure nature's bountiful harvest. In recent years, the building suffered from neglect and lack of funding for repairs. We have, from time to time, sought opportunities to try and restore um, some of what was, was in China that, that has been destroyed or severely damaged. With an initial grant of $30,000, American Express funded the restoration of Jufu Hall, part of the historic Zhenantan, or Temple of Agriculture complex. More importantly, this grant captured the attention of the government, which has made the site's preservation a priority. Jufu Hall is now structurally sound, its beauty reclaimed, its majesty restored. Since American Express people are, are naturally um, aligned with, with travel issues and travel opportunities, this is a kind of project in which very large numbers have gotten involved in helping sites come up with grant programs, in identifying sites that might be restored. So at all levels across the globe, a significant number of people have viewed this as something that they personally want to be involved with and are very proud that the American Express Company is involved with it. American Express continues its leadership role promoting the cause of the World Monuments Watch, bringing others from the travel industry into supporting the preservation of world heritage. At the outset, we made a very large commitment for American Express. We agreed to, uh, to donate $5 million over a five-year period. We were so pleased with the work that was done during that first five-year period, uh, we made a second commitment for another $5 million over a second five-year period to continue and extend the work that had been started during the initial grant period. 
This ongoing commitment is ensuring that the ancient facade of a small church in Ireland is being restored. The Irish Monuments Act, which would normally fund this type of restoration, excludes St. Brendan's because it is an active church. But with the help of World Monuments Fund, the ornate sandstone doorway will remain for centuries more to come. From a world-famous site like Mesa Verde to a small rural church in Ireland, the benefits of the World Monuments Watch are felt. Each year, World Monuments Fund honors an individual who has made an exceptional commitment to preserving our shared cultural heritage. This year, World Monuments Fund has the great honor of presenting the 2000 Hadrian Award to Harvey Golub for his foresight and leadership at the helm of American Express, revolutionizing the way we see and protect the treasures of our world. Well, personally, I feel good about, about helping these sites. I only wish, uh, and I've wished this every year, I look at the list of the 100 most endangered sites and I say I wish I could go visit all 100. Uh, it's virtually impossible to do, but I would love to be able to do it.